everybody, it's me, Jan Sport, and you're watching Sickening Drag Performances. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch the fiercest drag content you'll ever fucking see. Raise your hand and I will come to you. Yes, my love. What is your question? What's your favorite country to drink at in Epcot? Oh, bitch. <laughs> me and my girls just took a trip to Epcot, kind of like my dolls over here from Georgia. We were dressed in the Christmas gear too. Um, no, I just went to Epcot for food and wine. Has anybody ever been there during that time? So normally Epcot is 13 countries. When it's food and wine, it's 40. So me and my friends drank around the fucking world. And um, what, what, what was the best one? Japan? Sake, yes, we had some sake in Japan. Very good. I, I was blackout by that point. That's a little like farther into the realm. I was blackout drunk before the light show. Um, I do remember that. Um, yeah, I, oh, I got that um, creamsicle moment from Paris. Very, very good. Work. What? No, not the Dole Whip, it's different. The Dole Whip, I... Uh, the Frozen Grand Marnier. Yes, I love that movie. Okay, anybody else have a question for me? Yes, babe, what's your question? If you could sing one song for the rest of your career. If I could sing one song for the rest of my career, what would that be? Um, something in a bass baritone range because she's growing like Mariah Carey faster than you can say I. But, uh, or I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I would have to say April 25th. No, I... I would probably want to sing maybe this time, just because it's in the pocket. My body knows it, my mind knows it, and um, my spirit knows it as well. What's your question, my love? Um, here's the thing, and I'm, I'm being really vulnerable with all of you guys right now. Um, I don't have a Spotify, I use Apple Music. Um, We're getting mixed reviews, and I just need to find out, like, am I on the popular or the electoral side? Like, I don't know. Um, I guess my, my number one artist of, I think, the decade is, is probably Lady Gaga, um, just because of the longevity. Ariana Grande, a close second, and Britney Spears is a close third. Yeah, all right, I guess, what's your question, my love? What is your favorite What is my favorite smell? My boyfriend's chest. Um, so we get up close and personal. Um, but also, speaking of Ariana Grande, I love her perfume called Cloud. That's a good one. Or if I'm feeling my Bath and Body Works fantasy, I love Mahogany Tequa. So if you want to tip me in any one of those things besides my boyfriend's chest, you can give them to me at any of my gigs here at Therapy throughout the remainder of the year. Okay, anybody else have a question for me? Yes, my love, what's your question? My favorite night that I performed, I was lucky enough to be on a lovely television show called The Voice, and me and my girl group, Stephanie's Child, got to sing with our good Judy Nidra Bell, and also a little recording artist named Jessie J. Um, and so that was really fucking lit. We got to sing Bang Bang, her own fucking song, and we got to do it in front of 13 million people. So that was pretty lit. Uh, yeah, that was my favorite night that I ever performed. Yes, what's your question, babe? My favorite holiday album has to be Merry Christmas, Mariah Carey. Um, it's just so good. Oh Holy Night always gets shafted around this time of year. We're always going to All the Wonder Christmas is You. Oh Holy Night, the bridge that she does, from there on, from there on, magic. The best vocal recording I've ever heard in my fucking life. Don't you tell me otherwise. Don't you dare fucking do it. Okay? Don't you, it's that. If that's the best vocal or Rebecca Black's Friday, one of the two, it's a toss up. Yes, babe, what's your question? When did I know that I wanted to be a fucking queen? Honestly, like a year into my drag career. Because I didn't start going by Jan Sport until like maybe a year into my drag career. I was going by my boy name.